Hello, hello, welcome back. So I wanted to make a video about NVIDIA. It's a company that has skyrocketed through the past uh, two or three years or so. And um, it's important to understand a few things about um, what has been happening with NVIDIA and whether it's now a good opportunity to potentially enter the stock. The first thing I wanted to start with is uh, examine the price action of NVIDIA through the years. So going back uh, more than 20 years, you will see that the company was uh, pretty much flatlining for a while. If you bought over here, you would be <laughs> you would be very a very very happy person if you still hold the the stock. But uh, what has been happening through the past few years um, is an insane price action here. So at some point the stock has skyrocketed. But um, this is um, this belongs in the past. Uh, when we are potentially looking to buy the stock, we should be looking at the price action today, and we should be looking at the financials today. And also remember the fact that uh, investors today have, have all the knowledge that we also have about the stock. So again, the price action that has already happened is already correlated to the financial results that have been seen in the past. So all the AI, advan AI advancements and the market share and all that have been factored in to the current stock price. So that's important to realize so that you don't uh, get any fear of potentially missing out because that's not how it works in the markets. Now. Important things to see here in regards to the uh, latest earnings report uh, from NVIDIA, they reported an insane amount of revenue growth. Again, that's already factored in uh, the current stock price, so be wary about this one and do not get uh, super excited. And uh, there has been surging demand uh, for data center. Now, it's uh, worthwhile uh, noting that um, even though they have provided stronger than expected guidance, they basically uh, beat on um, both uh, top and uh, bottom line uh, in regards to uh, revenue and net income, that is. The stock still slipped after hours, and I think it was down about 8% um, after hours. Uh, however, it was up 150% uh, for the year. So, again, uh, investors have already priced in um, the current uh, advancements of NVIDIA. And this is an important thing to remember when you are potentially looking to enter these kinds of companies that have been skyrocketing, that they potentially get too overvalued at some point. So even, even the, the most stellar results could lead to the stock even going down in some situations because it has uh, already achieved so much. It has been so overvalued that, uh, you know, investors at some point, they're like, OK, this potentially could slow down a little bit. Maybe we expected even stronger results. And so people sell sell the stock um, to you know to put profit to make some profit to pocket some money. This is very very normal with uh, skyrocketing stocks. Now, if you take a look at the P ratio of Nvidia today, you will see that it's uh, somewhere near 50, and uh, the price to free cash flow somewhere near 100, like 94 almost, which is insane. Now, uh, remember that we are potentially looking to get something near 20 and less, if pos possible. In some situations, when we're, when we're looking about these uh, companies, these like tech companies that are uh, having uh, like surging demand and uh, insane growth, it may be okay to even look for, for something near 25 or even 30 in some situations when the company has other things going for, for itself. Now, over here, we're having a company that has been producing stellar, absolutely stellar growth. Uh, metrics here, you will see that their growth in regards to revenue, net income, free cash flow, all stellar and all coming from this latest uh, AI boom, which has translated to sales. Uh, that's an important thing for the company. And some insane uh, margins, like currently sitting at about uh, almost uh, 40, 14, 50 percent. That's probably for the quarter over here, which is like 55 percent. But if you take a look at our um, uh, stock evaluator here, the discounted cash flow model, it will tell you exactly that uh, the net income margin for last year for the company was 48%, uh, which is absolutely insane. Companies like, um, think about like restaurants potentially, could potentially have like something like 5% or 7% in regards to net income margins. Imagine how much their comp this company is making compared to what they are spending for creating their, uh, their services or their uh, products in this situation. And um, margins are extremely important for a company because um, they tell you how much the company is making on the dollar that they are spending. And so the higher the margins, the more profit, the profitability for the company. 
and uh, they're very they're a very very important thing and um, you will notice that nvidia hasn't had the, the same kinds of margins still stellar margins here but not uh, near 50 percent and the core reason for this is that they are able to sell at uh, premium prices like their chips they have been able to sell them at high prices uh, because of their research and because they are doing well with what they are uh, creating and um, you know, people are buying them businesses are buying them and so they can charge more for uh, for them and the, hence the high net income margins here that's how it works now before we examine the discounted cash flow model here i do want to take a little bit of a look at um, some troubles that nvidia could potentially have and um, you may have also noticed that lately like in the past month for instance you, that you will see here at some point we were sitting at about 130 for nvidia right now we're sitting close to a hundred dollars so it's been down quite significantly from its uh, recent highs and again that's something to be expected when we're looking at companies that have been significantly overvalued at some point they tend to lose uh, traction. The good thing about it, uh, when that happens, is that typically these kinds of companies, because there is um, uh, obviously popularity and there is this trend that could continue going upwards, they tend to be interesting trades unless something happens and uh, you know the you know the whole thing goes down and the stock sinks for some reason, some actual reason, some economic reason. Usually, they tend to be trading back and forth. And usually there tends to be buying pressure because of the sentiment. And so for a, for a trader, I would, if I were a trader here looking to actively trade the stock, I would, I could, and I would potentially be looking to enter the stock and sell it uh, later once it reaches these uh, similar levels, for instance, it could be a nice uh, trade to take. So I would definitely be looking at that. But as a, as a long-term investor, we're looking at other things. We're looking at the fundamentals of the company and how expensive or cheap the stock is compared to, that, compared to those. And um, some interesting things, like this article here from CNN, talking about how NVIDIA is suddenly in trouble. In trouble. Um, uh, this may be a little bit exaggerated, but it's talking about some uh, potential sort of like legal troubles uh, practically speaking, uh, anti-monopolistic anti uh, issues here. And so you will see that um, the company uh, had some uh, challenge, some potentially legal troubles here because of monopoly, potentially monopolistic uh, practices. And um, you will see that they have, um, they have inquired with the U.S. Department of Justice. They have not been subpoenaed, uh, is what they're saying here. But the Biden administration has been going hard after uh, tech uh, gi uh, titans, uh, giants, launching probes and uh, lobbying charges against Apple, Google, and Amazon, among others. And um, NVIDIA has been losing some um, market share because, uh, because of this and um, has been losing some, uh, some of its stock price, uh, pretty much. Not market share, uh, basically market cap is what I meant there. They have been losing some of uh, its market cap. At some point, I believe there were 3.3 billion, a trillion, Right now, they're sitting at uh, some, somewhere around 2.5 trillion over here. Yeah, so they have been going down a little bit in regards to their market cap. And as you will see, Elizabeth Warren backs the Department of Justice investigation into NVIDIA antitrust allegations, which uh, the U.S. takes um, into account quite significantly, understandably so. They're saying that uh, NVIDIA could potentially have too much influence over the AI market in regards to research development and the overall market. And they really, really don't want monopolies over there in uh, the U.S., understandably so. They don't want anybody to be dominating the market. And this could have some impact here for um, NVIDIA. I wouldn't be too concerned about this one, but it's worth noting. Uh, it could be an opportunity for potentially buying, but uh, it could be an opportunity for buying if the stock uh, accounts for that, like if the stock is a good buy to begin with at uh, $103 that it is today. And the way to know this is to actually go by the numbers. So again, we do know because of the metrics that the stock has been skyrocketing, right? If you take a, again a look at the five years, for instance, here, you will see insane price action. Like, uh, yeah, it's been going down a little bit, but overall, it has been flying. And um, does this actually make sense in regards to how much, when compared to how much they have been making? Let's take a look at our discounted cash flow model, which will correlate the stock price action to the cash flow that the company is generating. And again, remember that their margins are super high because of their premium pricing. Now, 
The revenue growth of the company in the past few years has been absolutely insane. For our projections here, we cannot be using these numbers. Remember, this is a five-year uh, projection. So we want to be a little bit more conservative or, or in regards to what has will be happening in the next uh, five years annually. That is, and so we're going to go with uh, we're going to start with uh, let's say fifteen, which is still pretty high, twenty and twenty-five. We'll see how how what we get out of this one, and then we can. That's the nice thing about the tool. We can adjust our projections and um, um, actually contemplate and think whether we actually want to be entering in the, with these kinds of projections. Now, their margins uh, sitting somewhere around 40 to 50 percent, again, insane. I will start with the five year average and I will actually use all of these. Let's see how what we get out of these, like 30, 33 and 48, which is absolutely insane. The last year's margin, I don't think this is going to be sustainable. Obviously, there is going to be competition and uh, all that stuff. I will potentially bring this down to maybe somewhere around 30 to 33. So I think these ones are probably closer to what will be happening in the next five years. And the free cash flow margins, um, somewhere around 80, 90, and 100%, very, very typical for companies. Now, the, the five-year average is sitting with 105, around 105%. I want to be using 100% in all three cases here because um, there is a lot of variance uh, with uh, the revenue growth and the net income margin. So I, don't, I want to leave the free cash flow margin to 100% of net income, which would be 30, 33, and 48 here. See how that affects uh, the model. And the annual return that I'm asking for is 17%. I expect to be getting lower prices here because, again, the stock has been overpriced. So let's calculate and see. Now, understandably so, we're looking at uh, much, much lower uh, prices to pay for today in regards to NVIDIA's um, discounted, uh, basically, cash flow. Uh, that they're going to be generating. So what potentially makes uh, more sense, I would think something around 30 to $35 would, would be ideal for NVIDIA. And you can kind of see how much the stock has been flying. You got a hint uh, for this one when you when we were examining the, um, the PE of the company and the um, cash flow, uh, price to cash flow of the company. Very, very expensive. And you can factor in some other nice things about the company, the fact that their margins are amazing, their research, their growth and all that. But how do you actually get to 103 here, uh, which is today's uh, current price? For me, I would be comfortable buying somewhere uh, somewhere around 30 to 40, maybe and this high case here is already quite high. But OK, you know, if you uh, if you factor in all the other advancements for NVIDIA, somewhere around 40 could make sense if you are willing to pay it. But 102 is actually kind of insane. And um, you can understand how insane it is just by looking at the metrics alone and just by looking at the chart alone. Like if you take a look at uh, the three month chart again, you can, no, actually the, um, the um, three years chart again, you can kind of see the insane price action. At some point, the stock was like 10, uh, like back, that's, that's, that's four years ago. And now it's uh, 10x that. Uh, has it grown 10x? No. <laughs> but uh, the stock price, uh, you know, when there is uh, the sentiment can very, very quickly uh, go up. And uh, that's exactly what, uh, what has happened. So you have to be careful when you are potentially looking at these kinds of companies because, um, yeah, they are, uh, they, it has increased uh, at, at a tremendous pace. And um, is it sustainable? So, yeah, from its one year high, for instance, it's down 27%. So you can see how quickly this can go down. But um, from its one year low, it's up 162%. <laughs> so again, it has, um, it has grown tremendously. But uh, looking at this stock price level today, I would be very, very scared to enter it. And again, unless I was looking to trade the company. And so... I wanted to make the video, tell you a few things, give you ideas about it. Obviously, you decide what you want to do. And I wouldn't be surprised, again, as I explained earlier, if this quickly goes back up to 140. But uh, it would be so overpriced that I wouldn't be comfortable holding through the years is the issue that I would be having with NVIDIA here. And I don't know what they could be doing in the future to sustain this kind of growth. It's, it would be insane. And I don't want to be buying stock that is extremely expensive. And NVIDIA, 
currently is a company that, um, yeah, it's an amazing company that is uh, researching amazing things and doing really well, but it's also extremely expensive. And uh, you could be a fantastic company and you could be insanely great. But uh, if you're asking me to pay 10 times uh, what you are worth, it's probably not worth it. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.